Good day, dear friend. I'm Elder Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom, sharing with you this message for our reflection today, a heart check. Let us pray. Abba Father, receiving your divine favor is worth more than the riches of the whole world. Grant us your favor in our individual hearts and lives. We pray for your divine favor in the life of our church. Graciously lead us, guide us, rebuke and correct us so that we may follow your perfect way for us. We pray today for your divine favor in our prayer lives as individuals and as a church, that you would show us how to pray with insight, power, and effectiveness in all areas of our lives, work, families, and ministries. In Jesus' name, amen. Heart check. Check the soil of your heart. The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. Mark chapter 4, verse 14. In Jesus' parable of the sower, the seed landed on four types of ground, producing four different results. The seed that fell on the footpath rep represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly, the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth and the desire for other things. So no fruit is produced. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Please refer to verses 15 to 20 of Mark chapter 4. The seed of God's word cannot fail. It always produces fruit, as in Isaiah 55. Verse 11, so if God's promise is not being fulfilled in your life, ask yourself, what kind of soil am I? Are you a surface person, thin-skinned and easily offended? A shallow person with no spiritual root system? Are you thorny ground? Are the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things choking the spiritual life out of you? Or are you rich, fertile ground that produces results? Check the soil of your heart. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord make his face to shine upon you, that you will be fertile soil and your tomorrow shall be greater than today. Be blessed.